All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As always, I'm Steve. And I'm not Steve. And he's playing Metal Gear Rising again. Well. Competently. Well. Semi-competently. Well, anyway, uh, but this is great. Gray Fox. Gray Fox. Fox outfit that Steve desperately wanted me to buy. God, that's awesome. Um, it's really a waste of your money because it doesn't do anything for God, you. God, it's awesome. Okay, so. It wasn't that much. Come on. It was 20000 That's enough. That's not a lot. It is. But look how much better you look. No, no you don't. The best one is uh, riding in his, in his suit. Like he's like, Hux. But you're Gray Any, Fox. But anyway, this is the introduction of the most annoying enemy in the game. Gorillas? Well, one of, like, I guess not the most annoying, but the hardest. Totally gorillas. Is a, yeah, he is a gorilla. He's a musky. What about me? Uh huh. Uh -huh. That's a musky. Spot on. <laughs> if that thing comes through, you should get it. So this deck sucks because it, on higher difficulties it's impossible to get out of it. But you're Gray Fox, so you can say. See, he's jumping. You can't really see it, and uh... But you're Gray Fox, you'll be fine. Actually, this enemy is very hard to take on in groups. <laughs> groups of these? Yes. Oh, on higher difficulties, yes. But I think in, um... A one and Gray gets Gatorade. Well, it's delicious. So what does Gorilla Gatorade look like and taste like? I don't know, man. I feel like Gray Fox looks kind of tacky. Looks great. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, whatever. What better colors are there for stealth and ninja-ing than bright yellow and blue? Okay. Get some you Michigan pride in that. But. Well. Right, Gray Fox went to Michigan, right? He went to U of M, sure. Yeah, he totally went to U of M. <laughs> if that's how you want to... Yeah. This, this is just him and his college days. Uh, Going to so much school of pride. So you can be more. You can beat this part with stealth if you really want. But I like. But why the hell would you want to? You have a sword that cuts direction. through everything. That's kind of slow on the reaction there. But uh, so all we gotta do is. Uh, Except it doesn't cut through everything when it's convenient. It's not impossible to get uh, his, his grabs, but. So I really ideally should get a counter hit on this guy. Which you've yet to do. Well, because my ever. Well, my parry time is not that good, so. Well, maybe you should work on that. So you can be better. Oh, I can't get his uh, nose on Dasu. But I think you can run around here. There's a, a door or something. Oh, here we are. Do you really have to drink every Gatorade you come across? Well, look at my health right now. It's not full, so that means Oh, of that course I, it's not. I would like to have full health, so I could... Um... You can what? Shoot sword beams? Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Badass. But, uh... Hey, no. uh hey, Metal Gear Designers, get on that. Okay? Okay. Because you're totally watching, right? Yeah, I bet you are. Because they're big fans of the show? Yep. Probably their first subscriber. Hideo Kojima. And creator, only subscriber. Creator of Metal Gear. <laughs> our biggest fan and only fan. But he's the Probably one... Probably saw it on the Reddit. He's the one fan that actually matters. <laughs> uh, well, oh, oh. Oh, we love all of you. That's okay. It's all, it's all, it's all. But he's the only one who, who can give us untold riches and fortune. Right? And Metal Gears. Because I'm sure he has a giant warehouse building somewhere in Canada. I hate these things so much. Canada? I hate them too. I don't think the tripods are Canadian, Steve. Why? Well, you just said they're all from Canada. I mean, I'm sure you could buy a tripod in Canada. Oh, dude, there's like no like no real boss for this level. It kind of sucks. It's sewer level, though. It's the worst level of every game. We can skip it if you want. No. I'm not gonna skip it. It's just the worst level ever. Oh, it's not. It's a, it's a sewer What's worse than a sewer level? A water level? Most sewer levels are water levels. That's not true. Where are you right now? Yes, in the water, but it's not like... In, in the, the water. The My wa point stands. The water does not impede what I'm dealing in any significant way. It's just... In Ocarina of Time, the bottom of the well is the sewer. And what's in the bottom of the well? Water. There you go. That's so the worst level in Zelda. Yeah, I guess. What's the worst level in Ocarina of Time? Water temple. And what's in the water temple? Okay, oh, okay, so... The water. sewers. Fine, fine, fine. Anyway, this is this is uh, to, My add, point to add to our multicultural feel of our game. Canadian. 
Canadian robots. Well, no, this character, this character is about to be introduced, is from a country called Guyana. Is that next to Latveria? Uh, no, I think it's either, I forgot if it was in South America or Africa. But it's, uh, one of the few countries. That guy. Well, this is the part where you realize this game doesn't go Oh, jeez, are you serious? Was he just saying the ninja rap from TMNT 2? I, I guess. Please answer me. Please okay. say he wasn't. Anyway, another new kind of enemy here. No, no, you need to answer this. Was he singing the ninja rap from TMNT 2? I don't think so. He was. He said Kawabunga and then said Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go. Okay, it was probably. He was singing the freaking ninja rap from Vanilla Ice. <laughs> what? Hey, that's that's an amazing. Uh... Have you seen Cool as Ice? Yes, I have actually. I have. I've seen Cool as Ice. As Cool as Ice. That, that's the worst move I've ever seen in my life. What about the Master of Disguise? No, Cool as Ice is worse than everything on a technical standpoint. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. What about Norbit? Movies have gotten me angrier, but nothing has made been worse. It's Vanilla Ice being creepy for an hour and a half. And that's not as hard as it sounds, because it's Vanilla Ice. Is there... is it... Is this kind of part chocolate ice? No. Chocolate milk. Oh. But, um... Chocolate water? <laughs> and strawberry... vapor? Alarm clock? Wait, what? Strawberry alarm clock. You've heard of strawberry alarm clock, right? No, I have not. Really? You've never heard of strawberry alarm clock? Oh, they suck too. There should be a cutscene right now. This is my favorite tag in the game, though. You have force push? Yes, essentially. I'm okay with this. So you're a Jedi, Samurai, so Ninja, <laughs> Robot, Cyborg, Pirate. So get a little of this guy's voice. Estás bien? What you say? Oh. Me a Guyanese. Oh, he's from Guyana? Yeah, it's South America, I think. Yeah. Hey, not from Libya. Call me Ryden. My name George, like George. Why is he subtitled and then the exact same subtitles underneath it? Because the Guyanan, um, yeah. I've never actually heard the actual Guyanan so dialect of English, but if this is accurate at all, which I doubt it, um, then it's actually fairly hard to understand what he's saying in that because they use different words. Uh, that sounds. I'm, I know exactly what he's going. That's what he's saying. So, you know, I thought where squint, like where it came from, as a word, and I figured it out. But I'm not sure if, uh, what's our audience supposed to be again? Um, <laughs> the internet? Yes. So I'm assuming it's derived from cunt or something like that, you know? Wow. Well, I, I'm just thinking about it, you know? Who is this character? George! Why? Why is he here? Because he was kid. Okay, if you've been paying attention, which you haven't been, I have not. He just explained it that he's an orphan, right? And a bunch of uh, like mafia men have been stealing kids out the streets so they oh, can. Oh, so they've been kidnapped. These orphans just harvest their organs. Uh huh. To, uh, to uh, yeah, but uh. They're kidnapped, so that way they can be have their organs harvested because no one cares about orphans. You, you know there's usually ways to do that, right? Then, kid kidnapping? Is the, is the market really that good? Well, they live in the, the future. Oh, okay, the future. That makes perfect sense now. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm just... This guy's voice. So the only one for escape. That machine come after me. Sounds Jamaican. Actually, um, so just for the sake of fun, right? Fun fact, uh, in the end of the game hints that George and Sonny, the Russian girl, get together. So you can make all the things you want to figure out about nationalities and races here. Uh, and suddenly I'm Gray Fox again. So the kid got into the sewers through a So apparently channel? Raiden's a yeah. really quick change the chance, artist. Josh, there's some it's if a sense you shook that so I make sure you just focus on good Totally professional. 
Okay. Well, now the hell, how, 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 how the hell am I supposed to figure out what's going on? It just says go in the sewer. Deeper. You were in the sewer. Go deeper in the sewer. Because there's a lab. There's a lab entrance in the sewer. Oh, okay, anyway, this is the best part of the game. Please say you're doing what I think you're doing. Oh, yeah. Please say you're doing exactly what I think you're doing. You're doing exactly what I think you're doing. Yes! Yes! Yeah, you, you gotta edit that in. There's, there's no way in hell they heard that. Oh. Nothing to see here, guys! You advanced robots with probably that have x-ray vision. Nope, just a box. Actually, the game explains it away. He said it's for medical supplies, right? Yeah. What does that mean? Steve, what does that mean? It means that there's Dakota with foil. Okay. I've never, I've never actually seen that move before. Oh, well, there you go. You saw it getting your ass in. So anyway, I'm probably gonna die here because these guys are hard. And you can't run. Uh, you can't run. You can't run. You can't run. You can't hide. This inside. Well, then stop being a dumbass. And stealth, like you're supposed to. Oh, well, that's okay. I don't in guess. the mighty box of justice. I just really want to counter hit them. It'll do a lot of damage. I could have killed one of the guys earlier, but I'm bad at doing the button presses necessary to do it. Well, then stop being bad at it. Encounter him. There you go. Right, there we go. Nice little pieces. Yeah, I should try a little more, but yeah, I'm not going to try that hard. Well, see, the camera gets iffy when you're on the walls. It'd be awesome if you didn't have to wear the helmet. But that's the best part! The gray fox helmet is the best part! Why would you not want to wear that? Because, why would you want to wear it? Because it's awesome! Oh, Ryden has this cool haircut. No, well, he has a haircut. I don't know if it's cool or not. He has a hose across his face. Yeah, see, I died already. Uh, wow. that? But I have the, uh, the HP things to heal me if I die. Up to five times. Well, then you didn't die, but you're perfectly fine. See, this camera angle. What the hell is happening there? Well, as I not was made to work no matter where you are, so unfortunately, it messes up the camera sometimes. Ew. A lot of times. We intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on That's your totally a thing radar. that we did not just make up. Oh, uh, that's actually been in the series for a long time. Oh, well, I probably should pay more attention then. But, I mean, oh, well, in this game, they mention it, like, maybe once or twice. But it's an actual thing in the series. Ooh. Well, I haven't played Metal Gear Solid 3 in several years, so... Oh, yeah, it's been a while. How do we get up there? I think I, I, bro I broke the scaffold. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you just broke everything. Oh. You're a ninja, come on. Let's climb. I like how this game actually has, uh, takes some cues. Why am I keep on doing this? Because you're not paying attention. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I like how this game actually took some cues from Assassin's Creed. Is that a good thing?